What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. This time, on the Dolphin Emulator. Okay, so yes, I know I missed out on a full week. I get it. But it was because I got a little busy. Promise you guys it won't happen again. But yes, in our last half episode, I informed every single one of you guys that, look at this, we are now playing on the Dolphin Emulator right here on my computer. Rather than on, you know, a capture card uh, with uh, the GameCube and all that stuff. Now, the only reason why I did that, guys, is because, uh, I don't know, it was kind of the graphics. It was the graphics that was bug bugging me. And, uh, yeah, you know me. I like to be very, very meticulous when it comes to my videos. So, anywho, in our last episode, full episode, I should say, we introduced ourselves yet again here in Pokemon Coliseum, the Ori region. And, yes, we are a character named Wes, but now we are GLD. Yes, it's me. And, uh, yeah, we used to be a, a, a character for Team Snagum, and uh, we figured out quite a few things that, you know, there's some shadow Pokemon going on, and look at this, we're running. Well, we're running just like this kid right here, away from the cast form and all that stuff. Oh, yes, and also, we managed to capture ourselves a shadow Pokemon. If you guys don't know what those Pokemon are, let's take a look right here. So, as you guys can see, a shadow Pokemon, Black Aura, all that stuff. If you guys can see right here, Makuhita does have a heart gauge. It's full and purple. The door to its heart is tightly shut, meaning that this Pokemon is still enraged and all that stuff. And if you take a look at at its, uh, well, if you take a look at its, uh, what was it called? Uh, hold on just a sec. If you take a look at its moves, it only has one move. A typeless move named Shadow Rush, which, well, if you guys take a look right here, an attack that is har so harsh, it also hurts the attacker. In this episode right here, guys, we're going to be choosing out quite a few things. We're going to be choosing out our, our starter Pokemon, or not our starter Pokemon, but our Johto starter Pokemon, which many of you guys voted for. And uh, we're going to take a look more into this town right here. So, a week or two ago, I had posted up on my community page, which starter Pokemon should I choose? And I'm talking about the Johto starter Pokemon. You have the choice between Bayleaf... Quillava and Croconaut, and a lot of you guys voted for the one guy that, you know, I figured you guys would be voting for, so let's go right ahead and take a look where this guy is at. Last episode, we met some uh, shady characters, came out with, uh, you know, the Power Rangers, and as you guys can see right here, we're in front of the red Power Ranger, and what we're going to do right now is I'm actually going to be... Actually, I'm going to be switching up. Now, here's something that you need to notice, guys. If you guys put a Shadow Pokemon on the front of your, uh, of your team... The heart gauge starts going down, kind of lowers it. It's kind of like happiness. Eventually, during battle, you're gonna f you're gonna figure out that like this Pokemon will like you a little bit more. We'll start opening up some moves and all that stuff later on in this walkthrough. We will be seeing this. So many of you guys voted, and yes, you guys voted for this guy right here. We voted for Quilava. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, "Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass." Or do you have an, uh, this idea that you can take me on in a battle? Yes, we can. <laughs> Who's going to beat me? You are? Don't be crying out uh, uh, out of regret later. Okay, so here it is, guys. Mystery Troop Rosso, also known as the Red Power Ranger. And he's going to be coming out with a Quill Lava and a Grimer. And, uh, well, look at this. He's got himself some pretty good Pokemon. Now, after I take out my Pokemon right here... You're gonna be seeing a little, a little something, something right here. We know that this is a shadow Pokemon because you know our good old buddy right there. Rui's like, oh, Draven. There's a shadow Pokemon right there. So the goal is this, guys. We need to capture this starter Pokemon right here. Eventually, you'll be able to capture the other starter Pokemon later on down the road and all that crud. But right now, it's only giving us, uh, it's only giving us this. So what's gonna happen right here? is I'm going to try and lower the HP of uh, Grimer first and then just take on one Pokemon. Obviously, I am heightening the the defensive uh, the defensive uh, stats for our Pokemon right here. And this looks better. Like, the graphics look better right here. And here we go with a Bite Attack. And, well, it looks like to me, Grimer's still like a little sturdy. And here comes a Sludge Attack. And it looks like to me they're going after my Espeon. So what's going to happen right now is Umbreon, let's go right ahead and use Secret Power on this guy. Actually, let's go, let's go back again. 
Let's go back to Bite Attack to equal Lava. And Espeon, let's go ahead and finish off this Grimer right here because we do not want you fainting. And here we go, Confusion Attack for the win. There goes Grimer. Yes, it's not happy right now. It is not happy. Okay, and yes, we're getting experience points and uh, well, this guy's got one more Pokemon and it's a Spoink. The Pokemon I can't remember and here comes a Smoke Screen Attack. And believe it or not, the Smoke Screen is actually pretty good when it comes to, you know, trying to capture these Pokemon right here. So I've heard. And well, let's go right ahead and go with a Bite Attack. And yes, we're gonna be taking we're gonna be taking a little bit of your HP Quilava, so stay tuned right there. So Spoink going down. And well, let's see. You know what? Let's go with a helping hand right here with Ombreon. That will power it up just a little bit. Anywho, uh yeah, after getting the dolphin or after figuring out about the dolphin emulator for GameCube and Nintendo Wii guys, I decided to buy myself a USB a USB, what you call it, uh, controller for the GameCube. It's working perfectly. I'm actually going to be using it for everything, including the Nintendo 64 stuff. And well, look at this. Spoink is a uh, you know, Spoink is still living it, and look at this, he's coming out with a Psy Wave. I wonder who he's gonna hit. And, yeah, Espeon is not loving life right now. So, let's go straight for a Bite Attack to Quilava. And a return on Spoink. So, here we go. Now, funny thing is, guys, you've already had these Pokemon for quite some time. So, their happiness levels are all, they're all already maxed. So don't worry about the whole return thing if you have to actually train it a little bit more. And well, as you guys can see, we're getting some levels. Quill Lava is uh, going underground right here, and I kind of have a feeling that this Pokemon right here is going to try and attack my uh, my uh, my Espeon right here. So what's going to happen? I'm going to hit it with a bite, and Espeon, I'm going to save you. Let's go right ahead and switch you out to Makuhita. Now, here's the thing about going with uh, Shadow Pokemon: they will only have one attack. The move is typeless. The other part too is that this Pokemon could potentially hit you back, and if it goes if it goes berserk, you're gonna have to press. You're gonna have to waste the. Uh, you're gonna have to waste the turn to call it just so it can actually get get back in control. So that is a uh, that, that's something that you know that's something that you, you need to keep an eye out for right here too. All right, so it's a two on one. We're gonna keep on lowering the HP of Quill Lava right here, Makuhita. Let's go with a Shadow Rush. So here we go, Flame Wheel, and this Makuhita is getting his butt kicked right now. All right, here comes a bite attack. There we go, and hopefully this Shadow Rush right here doesn't. Uh, yeah, hopefully the Shadow Rush doesn't make this Pokemon faint. And look at that, this Pokemon is at one HP, and of course we get hit with the recoil. So. Now that we got Quillava down, let's go right ahead and go straight for an item. And yes, off screen, I did buy myself quite a few. Uh, let's see, I do a few great balls just to make sure that you know we can capture these Pokemon right here. Again, guys, the majority of or crap, yeah, the majority of the the majority of the money that you're gonna be getting, or the majority of the stuff that you're gonna be buying, it's gonna be Pokeballs. So don't worry about like you know ever wasting a Pokeball or anything or running out of money. And just like that. We caught ourselves a Quill Lava. And yes, the Red Power Ranger is not too happy. He's like, you, you're tough. Truly folly. Can't be blamed for, for, for losing. Yes. Okay. So, look at this. What was that strange Pokemon? What did you, what did you people do to it? That, it's a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. Oh, I didn't know we had hearts or doors to our heart. No, you didn't. You artificially, you artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart. <laughs> Knowing that's not going to help you do anything. And so, after all that, everybody leaves, including the other Power Rangers. You know, the blue and green Power Ranger. And Rui's like, I know. When I get a little, uh, or when I was little, I heard that they say or that they say if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can gradually be reopened by battling together with it. Draven, let's go. Those guys are are probably headed to Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite that they they captured me. You don't say. Okay, so before we do anything, guys, I kind of want to do a little something something. Obviously, because we you know we need to battle a little bit more. 
I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon, and then, yes, we're gonna try and battle these Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back, and well, let's go ahead and take a look at the newest Pokemon that we captured. So as you guys can see right here, we got Quillava, and if I can actually, holy crud, okay, hold on, if it, yeah, if I can just get to him, there we go, S summary. So as you guys can see, Quillava, the fire type Pokemon, does have its usual t ability, Blaze, powers up fire, moves in a pinch. Its heart, ga it, its heart gauge is tightly shut, so yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of battling right here. And if you guys take a look... In our battle against the Red Power Ranger, it did have Flame Wheel, but because its gauge is uh, closed right now, we're going to have to fight our way through to actually get these Pokemon's moves and all that stuff. Little by little, we're going to get the moves until we purify these guys. Now, here's another thing, too, that's a big, big downside. We can't... Well, these Pokemon can't gain or they, they don't level up right away or anything like that. In fact... You're going to have to wait a while before you can actually level up these Pokemon right here. And trust me, it's building up, okay? The more you battle with these Pokemon, the more experience points they get. You will see later on in this walkthrough how this, how this whole thing goes. So now, let's go right ahead and go into this Pokemon Stadium thing right here. Hey, guess what? Look, we're playing Pokemon Stadium too. <laughs> okay, so there's a few things that we need to do. I think there's this guy right here. Somebody in here gives you like a Pokedex or something, I don't know. Now pay attention, one does not become a good teacher by simply battling without strategy. A good trainer always thinks, uh, thinks about the Pokemon that uh, they are in a battle. Oh, you must be a trainer too. Are you listening in in my class? Since you are here, I have something here that you might like. May I see your PDA? Oh, that's a Pokemon Digital Assistant, or a PDA for short. Draven, you, uh, you have one uh, too, don't you? And yes, I did show it, and here, it's been upgraded and added a uh, strategy memo function. You'll be able to check on the types and abilities of Pokemon you've met at a glance. Come see me whether you, uh, whenever you like to, or what, whenever you like, I'll update your PDA and detailed data of the Pokemon you've met. I hope you make a good use of the strategy memo as you aim to be a good trainer, or a great trainer. So that's one thing that you guys can do right here, and let's go right ahead and take a look at that PDA. So look at that. And we got the strategy memo right here. As you guys can see, this is kind of like a Pokedex. And we've already encountered quite a few Pokemon during our journey. And let's go ahead and take a look at Makuhita right here. So as you guys can see, Makuhita, strength Pokemon. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm moving the controls real quickly. Doesn't really have a, any kind of data right now. But you guys can actually press the A button and get the, the sound right there. And if you go into the view, you press the L and R buttons. You can zoom in, zoom out, look at that. This is a big old Pokemon right here. Turn it around. I'm turning it around, look at that. Yes, it's a pretty nice looking Pokemon. And if you want to compare it by size, this Pokemon is not that tall from me, my main character or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some Pokemon that are purified. And they're still the same thing, view, and still the same thing so there we go guys it's kind of like a pokedex and yes we have saved our game now here's a little something that you guys can do right here if you guys want to actually battle some pokemon trainers let's go ahead and talk to this lady hello i'm justy i'm in charge of running the pre-gym judging by your appearance i'd say that you're traveling the two uh, the two of you well what do you think since you are uh, already here do you feel like having a battle sure okay then let me introduce you to the trainer's pre-gym, of the pre-gym. When you're ready to go, go into the battle area in the uh, in the center and stand on the left, uh, left hand side. Okay, so what's going to happen here, guys, is I'm actually going to show you guys the first battle and then skip on ahead to the last battle because I think you have to battle like four or five trainers, maybe three. But I'll skip along ahead, that way you guys can see what you can get after you, you know, you, you beat them. Plus... I'm trying to lower these power gauges down, so I'll be right with, well, I'm not going to be all right right with you. I'm just going to be talking to this person, and she's going to be like, good luck battling. So, let's see. We're going to start out with our starters right here, Ombreon and Espeon, and then after that, we're going to just start, you know, incorporating Makuhita and Kulava, just so we can lower their heart gauge, get a little experience before then, and, well, now that you're here, let's see what this pre-gym has to, has to go give us right here, and Draven... Go for it, I'll be cheering for you right here. Looks like you're ready. Well, let's get this started. 
In all, you'll be facing four trainers, they're all a handful, I can vouch for that. And now, this is where your opponent enters. Okay, so, here we have our first trainer, he kind of looks like the main character for the next, the next series. Do you feel like taking on some grass that Pokemon? Then I'm the one you want. Okay. So here it is, we're taking on Cool Trainer Botan. And, well, he's got himself two grass type Pokemon right here. Of course, Sunkern at the time, one of the weakest Pokemon of all time right there. So you won't be you won't be having such an issue. And well, here we have our two buddies, Espeon and Ombreon. Let's go right ahead and start attacking people. Let's go with Sunkern right here and be a little strategic, not like that. Let's go ahead and uh, use the Helping Hand and all that crud. Look at this. Oh yes, Helping Hand and Ombreon is ready to battle. This gives it a little pep to its step and here we go, Ombreon going with the Bite Attack right here and Sunkern has been defeated. Oh look at that, yes. Not so happy right now. Okay, alrighty. And Ombreon grows in, uh, grows a level right there. And Espeon is catching up right behind. And here comes Hoppin with his Tail Whip attack. And that right there lowers the defense of both my Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead. And go with a Bite attack right here. And finish this Pokemon off with a Confusion attack. Look at this. Bam. Okay, a critical hit. And that finishes off Hoppin. I'm happy about that. Real happy. And, well, let's see. I think that's it. Huh. <laughs> well, if, if this is the case, then maybe I should just show you another battle. Just, eh, you know, three out of the four battles, guys. Doesn't hurt. And Botan is going to be like, I'm going to tough it up some more. I hope you keep on working, too. Okay. All right, do we get a little break time so I can switch out Pokemon? I'm just saying. Alrighty, so what's your plan? Do you keep on chugging uh, with your battle? Yes. Okay, let's get the next battle started. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so <laughs> here we go, going up against another trainer, and she's walking like a model right there. She's going to be like, leave water type battling to me. I'll teach you just how strong water type Pokemon can be. Oh, okay. So here we have a cool trainer, Liqui. Liqui? I, I, I get it. I get it. It's a Liqui person. And all that crud. So, here we go, taking on the water type Pokemon that she's threatened to use. And Ombreon and Espeon looking fantastic as always in 3D, especially now in our emulator. And as always, we're gonna be attacking one Pokemon at a time. And we're gonna be going with Helping Hand and all that crud. So, here we go. Helping Hand. How about your brother? How about Ombreon? That's right. Okay, Ombreon, get the bite attack. And there we go, Surskit, gliding left and right, doing what Zigzag Goon should have done, and yes, we made this Pokemon flinch, and what the heck, it's, oh yeah, it's defense has risen, so let's go right ahead, bite attack Surskit, and let's go straight for your confusion attack on Meryl, and well, here we go, confusion for the win, hopefully, and Meryl has survived for another turn. Guys, remember when uh, Meryl used to be called Peekaboo? The rumors and all that stuff. That, that, that right there was hilarious. And Surs get defeated. Oh, yeah, it's not feeling too happy right now. Okay, so we gained some experience points right there. And Espeon has grown another level. And Water Gun from Meryl himself. Or herself. And Espeon is just... Uh, <laughs> Espeon is... Just Espeon. So here we go. Let's go a full fledged attack right here onto the Espeon. And bam. Look at that, Meryl. Defeated. Okay. Alrighty. I'm feeling good about that. Okay. And, well, Espeon is right there. And, well, we have defeated our next trainer, the Liqui. And she is impressed by all of us right here. And yes, we get some more monies just because we won and all that crud. And, well,. She was like, my goal is to become the ultimate water Pokemon trainer. Back for more training is for me. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so who's next? I believe we got a fire type trainer coming up next. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to show you guys everything. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be talking. So uh, there's three. We got another, f we got, well, this is three right here. So let's see. 
Yeah, this guy doesn't matter. Is a proper trainer battle? Okay, he doesn't care. So I don't know exactly what kind of Pokemon he has, but knowing, but like, seeing by the name of Dugo, he yeah, he does have some ground type Pokemon right here. And this is probably a good thing that I did not come out with uh, Quillava just yet because, well, shoot, look at that. <laughs> okay, so let's go right ahead. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go with a secret power on the Trampage since it's a very lazy Pokemon and go with, uh, not that, but Helping Hand. And here we go, Helping Hand, as always, being strategic. And we're buffing his stats up again, and here comes the secret power. And that right there hits it pretty hard. Does it do anything else? It doesn't poison it? No. And here comes Swinub digging that hole. And here comes a sand attack. Okay, so that... Okay, why do they keep on going for my Aspion? Seriously. That is ridiculous. Okay. So, it looks like to me we're going to be battling and with Ombreon. So, let's go right ahead and use a Reflect just to buff up that defense right there. And here we go. We, we're, we're leveling up just a little bit. And here comes a Secret Power Attack. And just like that... Trampage has been defeated. Uh-oh. Alright, so where's Swine Up? Who's he gonna try and hit? And... Let's see. Of course, he's gonna try and hit Ombreon. Which wasn't a good idea, since it does have a pretty good defense uh, line right there. So let's go straight again. For this one right here. And go with the Confusion Attack. Finally, Espeon can finally attack. And of course, we missed because of that whole Sand Attack thing. And well, here we go. Secret Power. Yeah, Swinub is uh, digging its hole yet again, and I probably should have gone with like a taunt attack or something like that. Okay, so let's go straight for a taunt right here, that way I won't use it again, and... Well, Confusion Attack obviously is going to miss again. Okay, taunt attack, missing again, and this guy dang Swinub... How is it faster than my Pokemon? I just want to know that. Oh my god, okay, so that right there is, doesn't work, so let's go straight for a taunt and confusion right here. So let's go, confusion, and it missed. So here we go, taunt attack. And there we go, We've this guy is falling for the taunt, so... Holy crud, I thought it was going to miss, or I, oh god, okay. So, I, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having an issue right here, guys. <laughs> let's go with a, ref, a reflect. It failed. Ombreon, it failed, okay. Goddamn swine up. Hitting us both, and oh uh, yeah, Espeon is taking a nice hit. And of course, our, refl our Reflect has gone off, so now we got a chance to actually attack this guy uh, full power and everything. So let's go straight for a return attack. And this one will hit swine up, and that is for the win. How does it feel to fail swine up? Not that great. Not that great. And, well, look at that. We have won. And Dugo is like, you're tough, even though you don't look like it. Man, the insults here are ridiculous. Okay, so he's saying the way you battle is uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Eh, well, whatever. Anywho, I think we got one more trainer. Let's go right ahead and see who it is. I think. So that what's your plan? Yes, we're gonna keep on chugging away. Let's get this last battle going. Hopefully we get we get ourselves some kind of prize or something. I don't even know. And she's walking, she's walking, and she's like, hey, your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're ready. Oh, we we've been ready. We've been ready, and here we have Lady Gwyn wanting to battle us. And she's gonna be coming out with her Rhyhorn and and Geodude. So, we're going to have a little bit of an issue defensively, or, you know, offensively. The way, whichever way you look at it right here. Because these Pokemon are both Rock-type Pokemon. And this is probably a better opportunity for the Pokemon I have uh, in, my, in my team or something like that. So, let's go with Secret Power on this guy. And Confusion on this guy. So, we're just going to go all out. And here we go, Confusion. Rhyhorn. Going all the way down, and here comes a secret power from Ombreon. And that is not very effective. Good gravy. Okay, and yes, it is paralyzed, so that means 
Got a good chance that this Pokemon might not hit us right here. And, well, look at that. We're getting a Tail Whip. Ridiculous. So this looks like a... This looks like a very good battle for a special attacker, you know, <clears throat> you know, Espeon right here. So let's go straight for a secret power on Rhyhorn and hopefully finish this guy off with a confusion right here. And this one will take it all the way. So Geodude defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Umbreon going with a secret power right here. And that is not effective, so Rhyhorn survives for one more turn, and here comes another Tail Whip, so this guy's setting up for something. Unfortunately, it's not going to be fast enough to defeat us, so let's go right ahead and go for Secret Power and Confusion, and let Espeon take care of the rest right here. So there we go, Espeon for the win. There goes Rhyhorn. It's not a happy camper right now. It is not a happy camper. And, well, look at that. I think that was our fourth trainer. So, yes. So, after defeating Gwyn, how much money does she give us? 540 Poke Dollars. Wow. <laughs> it's not a lot. It really isn't. My battling style must have been so, uh, too sophisticated for you. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know how what's so sophisticated about having two rock type Pokemon. I, I just don't know. Okay, so, let's see. I think that's pretty much it, and, well... Jesse's gonna be like, whoa, that was inspiring. You showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. And we get ourselves a white herb. Don't remember exactly what it does, so we're gonna check it out afterwards. Jesse's gonna be telling us, you don't have to you don't have a full party of a Pokemon yet. When you get six of them, I'd like you to come and see me again. That's when I will be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. If you guys want to go ahead and battle her, go right ahead, but she is going to be tough. She's going to be in, I believe she's going to be in the level 40, so just, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for all of that stuff right there. And if you go down the elevator right here, guys, holy crud, this is like, <laughs> look at this. It, it looks like to me, this is like a farm for Pokemon trainers right here. And, you know, look, look at the graphics. I, I just want to say this, like, look at the graphics in comparison to the capture card version of, uh, of, uh, of my GameCube one, and wow, it, it like this right here. It's almost as similar as the Nintendo uh, Nintendo Switches and all that stuff. And look at this guy. Look at this. He's got himself an Aron. It's like to me, it's like I kind of want an Aron. Seriously, an Aron right here would be awesome. But I guess we don't capture one. And well, let's see. Uh, where did uh, it dig to? Where did my Sand Slash go? Come on, boy. Come out, please. Where is that Sand Slash? Hopefully it doesn't attack us or anything like that. And well, I talked to this guy. He's like, "This is the training center. He has a variety of terrains, so any kind of Pokemon can train uh, where they uh, feel more comfortable and all that crud." Okay. So that right there is our completion of this uh, the the battle pre gym. And well, I kind of want to put these. Uh, I kind of want to put these shadow Pokemon in front because we kind of need to lower their heart gauges and stuff by walking and well everything else in between so we're gonna stop it right here guys in the next episode we're gonna be going into the next town i believe it's pyrite town or something like that and this guy keeps on running away from the cast form seriously but yes we're gonna be going to pyrite town we're gonna be doing a lot of battles right there and uh hopefully uh catching some more shadow pokemon in between other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this episode right here, especially with all the, like, you know, the, the clear graphics and all that stuff. We're going to continue doing this, and trust me, if anything goes wrong right here with this emulator and all that stuff, I got a backup. You know, I got my regular GameCube. I'm playing as I'm going, so thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and as patient. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right down there below. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. See you guys.